Hey friends, this is the Silk Bulb Test, and I've heard this is one of the scariest analog horror games ever made. This is also a game where I think the best way to start is to read you the itch.io page description. You're late. We were about to start without you. Through that elevator on your left, please, and then down the hallway. Don't lollygag, we're behind enough as it is. If the elevator stops, under no circumstances should you exit before reaching the correct floor. Repeat that to me, please, so I know you understand it. Okay. Thank you. When you get there, take a seat at the center table. The test will begin shortly. Do not speak to the other participants. Do not take any photographs. Do not write down your memories of it. And do not look directly into the slide projector. What? No, it's a slide projector. It won't do any damage, but you won't be able to see, and we need you to see. If the test ends prematurely, do be a deer and try again. Sometimes all you need is a fresh mind to a problem to get a different result. That was quite the intro, and it gives us a lot to think about. Now, before we get started with the horror game, I wanted to update you guys on a few things in my life. I've taken the jump, and I'm officially back into therapy. And now that I have my appointment scheduled, I've reflected on that, and I've realized a few things. I've been open with you all about my mental health struggles this year. This pit I've been in at times has been awful, and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. However, if these anxiety issues result in me learning more about myself as a person and growing, getting back into healthy therapy, then it's kind of a good thing. For better or for worse, it's part of who I am. And if getting rid of it completely would fundamentally change me as a person, then I wouldn't get rid of it. And I think learning to love yourself, the good, and the bad is part of that mental growth that hopefully I will get through working through these anxiety issues. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I love you all very much. With that being said, here is the silk bulb test. Here we go. Calibrating the silk bulb test. Please stay seated for the duration of the test. I can move around. Wow. You prefer the color red. True or false? The visuals are... Strikingly real. Can I get up and walk around? Is that timer going? Um... I'm gonna... Prefer the color red to what? I'll just say true? Eh? You pressed A. A is true. You love red. Okay, next slide. Calibration key. Uh, B, A, A, B, A, B, A. Is there something behind me? They told me not to look at the projector. I see what looks like maybe some other tables. But I don't like the fact that noise is coming from directly behind me and inherently I can see how the game design creates a tense scenario. I didn't even... This is an image of a door. False. I didn't even have time to answer. This is the image of a door. False. Uh, true. They're not giving me any time. What is that? Is that a person? Is that the projector room? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Today was special. Okay. Did I fail the test? Oh! This is the image of a clock. False. This is the image of a clock. False. Cat and dog. That's true. I missed the... F I wish I got the other one right. Yes, true. 
Telephone, no! Who is that? This is the image of a telephone, no. Something didn't look right about the father in that family. True, I wonder if these are random people. And what is this? Is this the same house that we saw earlier? I still don't even really know what we were looking at before. Oh! Who is that at the projector? I'm moving? There's someone behind me. I, I literally can hear them whispering. Crap. Stop! I'm like in panic mode. Um... Did I get it? Wait a minute, I can almost see someone right there. Okay. Um I'm 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 like trying to process everything going on. Your score 15 out of 16. Yeah, I missed that one question. Does that change the result? Is this the image of a friend? I don't think so. Is this the image of a friend? I don't think so. Who is behind me? Oh. None of these guys look very friendly. What is going on? Dude, I, I hear whispering right next to my left ear. Is this the image of a stranger? Yes. And there's someone right behind him that doesn't look like they're in good shape. Is this the image of a stranger? Yes. There's somebody right next to my left ear. Uh, true. That's a stranger. Is this the image of a stranger? What, what happened to these people? Don't trust them. I'm really kind of paranoid about the person that's... You ate breakfast this morning. I did. I'm really kind of paranoid about the person moaning in my left ear. You ate alone. Um, no, I didn't. I had breakfast with Chester, actually, and we listened to jazz. Chester's my cat, for those of you that are new to the channel. You'd rather have eaten alone. No, I love my cats being around. Yeah, no, I, I love it. You fear being alone. No, I don't. Was that a shadow? So we did see someone up by the projector before. This game is creepy. There is safety in being alone. Um... I don't know necessarily safety. You feel guilty when you're alone? No. Then why are you here? I don't know. That's a good question. You feel alone in a crowd? No. Time will wash you away. I guess. Then don't look behind you. I'm looking. I've been looking down at this projector the whole time. And I only got jump scared once. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, calibration. And there's that sound again. Coming from who? 
and why. Oh. Okay. We have a new button. Great. Calibration. Oh, we can move now. It's a joystick. Oh! What is that? Okay. Calibration. Where's my guy? Go, go, go. Why are we moving? Like, why is the floor moving? Calibration complete. Did we just... Shoot that guy? Who? I think that thing is, like, moving toward us. I don't... I don't... Ooh! Wait a minute, that's not a person? What is that? Don't look down! Why? Who? Oh. Is it getting closer? Stop! Oh, I hate that! No! Alright, go, go, go. Calibrate. It's not letting me move. Oh, I have to click on the thing first. Okay, so we got that wrong. Okay, okay. So, when the calibration comes up, we know that if we look down at the console in front of us, that creature is going to move toward us. Stop. Or if we look away. Don't look down. Okay. A, B, A, B, A, B, B. A, B, A, B, A, B, B. I did it! I did it! I had to press B one more time. Calibration failure? You cheated! The application is encountered an error. Please check its vitals if it's no longer responding. To quit the application, press control to gain composure. Press insert to join a conversation and slowly realizing that no one is listening when you speak. Press N to leave the conversation. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. I know someone just whispered in my ear, but I'm going to try to ignore that because that literally sent my heart straight into my stomach. Okay. Um. We lost? Okay, let me see if I can try that again. Whoa. Wait, what? Now it's a first person game? What is this? We can run. Wake up. Oh, stop! 
Oh my god. Oh no! What is this? I thought this was like a regular. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Oh. Oh. I I I th I thought this was like a normal Like we've played a bunch of these analog horror games before. Oh my god. This is something completely different. Who? I hear him running all around me. Should we go to the phone? Or here? I think we should go to the phone. Oh! Who is this? Today was special, true. Today was so special, true. Yeah, this is easily the scariest analog horror game ever made. Calibration complete. I that so that's why the game tells you to retry the test because you're not you're not retrying the test you're it it's doing something else so there was a man dead at the phone there was a man crawling or, or something crawling around um this is a demo to what will become a full experience and I cannot wait for that full experience I, I can't wait for it we are absolutely gonna check it out um, please wish list this game on Steam because I really want to see this become its I, I just conceptually they've taken analog horror games and turned it into something so much more terrifying than any of the other experiences I've ever, uh, you know, played with you guys have been. That this, this, in, in terms of the analog horror games, this stands on its own as the scariest, in my personal opinion, um, awesome stuff. Silk Bulb Test gets a big, big gaming thumbs up. Excellent stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did and were as immersed as I was into this experience. Um, yeah, this is this is something really cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm honored to be able to spend this kind of time with you guys. I love you very much. Please be safe, and I'll see you in the next one.